Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to look at complex fractions. I want to look at the problem expressed in simplest form. We have 1 over 2 minus 4 over x divided by 1 over x plus 3 over 2x. Now to solve this problem we're going to need the concept of common multiples. We want to focus on each of these denominators. We have a denominator of 2x, x, and 2x. So we need to find a common multiple of 2x and 2x. Well, a common multiple for all of these three would be 2x. Because 2x is divisible by 2x, and it's divisible by itself. And we're going to couple this idea with equivalent fractions, which if you'll remember back to, I think it was fourth grade, we have, when we generate equivalent fractions, we want to multiply the numerator and denominator of some fraction by the same term. In this case, that term is going to be 2x. And the reason why we could do that is because for any a value not equal to 0, a divided by a equals 1. So multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same term is like multiplying by 1. So that's why we're allowed to do that. So now let's look at this fraction. We have 1 over 2 minus 4 over x divided by 1 over x plus 3 over 2x. And now what we want to do is multiply the numerator and denominator by 2x. So I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses because we're multiplying the entire numerator and the entire denominator by 2x. So we have 2x in the numerator, 2x in the denominator. And next I want to go ahead and look at this as 2x over 1 because it's easy to multiply a fraction by a fraction as opposed to just multiplying this fraction by 2x. And I'm going to do the same thing here, 2x over 1. So now we need to distribute so the next line is going to be, well, we have 1 half times 2x over 1. So we're going to multiply the numerators and denominators. We have 2x times 1 is 2x, divided by, now we have 2 times 1, which is 2. And now minus, and we have 4 over x times 2x over 1. So we're going to multiply 2x times 4, which is 8x, divided by, and now we have x times 1, which is x. So now let's go ahead and, oh, all right, let me just indicate that we, in fact, multiplied. Those two lines just mean that we distributed. So now we're looking at 2x over 1 times 1 over x. So we're going to multiply the numerators. 2x times 1 is 2x. And now we multiply the denominators. x times 1 is x. And now plus, we're going to multiply 2x over 1 times 3 over 2x. So we have 2x times 3 is 6x. And we have 2x times 1 is 2x. And now, the reason why we wanted to multiply by this 2x over 2x is watch what's going to happen now. Now things are going to start to cancel. We have 2 divided by 2 is going to cancel. We have x over x is going to cancel. We have x over x cancels. And once again, x over x cancels. So now the next line, we can write this fraction and it's going to be a little bit simpler. What's left of the first term? Well, only an x. With the second term, we have minus, now the x is canceled, so all we have left now is this minus 8. And now in the denominator, we have these x's canceled, so all that's left of this term is 2. And now plus 6 divided by 2, that's all that's left. But 6, divi six divided by 2 is equal to 3. So we have 2 plus 3. So the answer to this problem, we have x minus 8 divided by 2 plus 3, which is 5. There are other ways to solve this problem, but I think using common multiples is the easiest way to get everything to just collapse into something nice like x minus 8 over 5. Okay, well this is going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.